Yo, what is poppin' ladies and gentlemen? It is the one and only Zgasms, and I'm back. I've been gone for a minute. I've been gone for like a week, dude. But uh, I'm back, and I got a shitload of freaking Counter-Strike information that I need to go over. Uh, if you didn't know, that last video that I put up, it actually uh, was some old Counter-Strike info. It was about a month old. And right when I got home, after I finished rendering the video, Sony tweets a new fucking Counter-Strike info thing. So I'm like, oh, wow, I just wasted a whole render. And I was like... Well, I'm not going to waste this video, I'm going to post it anyway, but, uh, I got a bunch of new information, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, the new Counter-Strike is going to be called Counter-Strike Go. It's coming out early 2012, and it's going to be available on PC, Mac, PS3, and Xbox 360. Uh, if you don't know what Counter-Strike is, it's pretty much like the OG of all FPSs. Um, it came out in, like, August 1999, and, uh... It sold a lot of copies. It sold like 25 million copies, and uh, it was just an outstanding hit. A lot of people loved it, and a lot of people still play it to today. Like um, at any given moment, I think on Steam, like 100,000 people are on Counter Strike, which is still a lot. I mean, that's as many as Modern Warfare 2, and um, which is pretty insane. But uh, right here, you're gonna see a picture of the engine, uh, the old engine. Valve really tweaked the engine a lot. So uh, as you can see right here, this is the old Counter Strike engine. It's not really too much uh, detail. But uh, on the new engine, right here, they add a lot of shadows, detail, textures, and uh, they really made it look phenomenal to kind of give it that next-gen feel that uh, everyone wants because, you know, there's numerous people out there that always complain, oh, the graphics aren't too good, I'm not going to buy it. So, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to see that Valve knows that the bar for graphics has been set and uh, they're, they're meeting that expectation. But, uh... Counter-Strike is pretty much a 5v5 mode, and they have two main popular modes. It's, uh, it's, um, Bomb Diffuse. Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. Uh, Bomb Diffuse, which is pretty much, like, Search and Destroy. Um, and then they also have Hostage Rescue, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Look at that block shot. What the hell, man? But, uh, it's pretty much 5v5, and, uh, they're awesome game modes. Um, if you haven't played Counter-Strike, I really suggest picking it up. But, uh... They're also going to be including the seven classic maps, uh, which include Dust, Dust 2, Aztec, Nuke, Inferno, Italy, and Office. Um, Dust and Office were probably some of my favorite maps ever. And uh, they're actually going to uh, be tweaking the maps a bit to make them a little bit more balanced, which is nice to see. Uh, they're not just like throwing them back in there without even uh, just, just like not even looking at them. But, uh,. They're also including eight new weapons, and I'm assuming they're also including the classic weapons. So uh, the eight new weapons they're including is decoy grenades, Molotovs, IMI, Nejev, I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. Um, Taser, Tech Nine, Mag Seven, Sawed Off Shotgun, and a PP Bison, something like that. But uh, if you want to read it, go ahead and click the link in the description for the article. But uh, they're also adding two modes: um, one's casual and one's competitive. Uh, basically, in Counter Strike. Pretty much, if you win a round, you get more money, and uh, you use that money to buy weapons and armor for the next round, so that uh, you're not looking like a scrub with a fucking pistol running around. But uh, in casual mode, money's no object; it's just a friendly, friendly, uh, friendly game. So you can pretty much just buy any weapons, armor, anything you really want, and uh, it's, you're not really going to be penalized for it. There's also voice chat to uh, open to all players, so that when you die. You can talk to the other team, and then also you'll be able to spectate any player, uh, obviously when you die. And uh, casual mode, Valve said it was it was introduced so that new players could help get a feel for what Counter Strike is about and how to play and all this, and I just introduce them to the community. But the competitive is for the veterans of Counter Strike, and it really raises the skill ceiling, um, and it drops the round minutes from three to two. I'm assuming that's for bomb defuse. And uh, it drops cross-team chat when spectating, and also you can only spectate uh, your team, I think. I'm not quite sure about that one. But also, money is earned to buy weapons and armor for the next round, which is uh, very important. And um, I'm probably just going to put a picture here or something, so uh, don't trip. But um, something really cool that Valve's implementing, only for PS3, sorry Xbox, but uh, something really cool Valve's implementing is they're using their Portal 2 technology... Not literally, but like their technology so where you could play uh, with PC and PS3 and they're putting it back on the PS3 so that now if you own a PS3, you can actually play with PC players and to help you get on par with them, they're going to make it mouse and keyboard compatible. How sick is that? It's going to be totally epic so now you can actually stay on par with them because uh, if you didn't know, uh, mouse and keyboard is extremely accurate. 
compared to uh, the controller. And uh, it's going to be really interesting. And also, they're going to organize players by their skill level so that you won't be risking complete noobs. And uh, you'll actually be, you'll actually be uh, given a competitive game every time, which will keep players coming back and uh, helps keep the community uh, really keep playing their game. And it adds a lot of re replay value. And, uh, yep, just hope, just hope, uh, just hope it gets a lot of um, good feedback. And I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, it's coming out early 2012, like I said, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Links in the description if you want to read the article, and uh, see you in the next video. Leave a comment and rating if you want to. Peace.